All right, we have learned about the kidneys. Now it is time for the rest of the urinary tract, the ureters, the bladder, and the urethra. Ureters, of course, are the tubes that carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. They have a very thick mucosa lined with transitional epithelium. And you remember that transitional epithelium is an epithelial tissue that stretches very easily. So the cells look kind of cuboidal when they're relaxed and then they stretch to um, kind of look squamous and then they go back. This helps it to accommodate more fluid when the kidneys are producing more fluid. It is also impermeable to urine so that urine cannot cross the wall of the ureter and get into the ab or the pelvic cavity or the abdominal cavity, excuse me, uh, which would be bad. Um, and when it's relaxed, when it's not stretched accommodating uh, urine, the mucosa is all folded up like this. Now, this is what it looks like on a microscope slide. You can see the mucosa is folded up and it can stretch to accommodate urine. Uh, you can see this thick layer of transitional epithelium followed by, or sorry, surrounded by a lamina propria and then two layers of muscle. Yeah, this is just like the digestive system and for the same reason. These muscles are gonna do peristalsis to move the urine from the kidneys to the bladder, even if you are upside down or lying down asleep or whatever, your, the urine can still move away from the kidneys to the bladder. That's important because if it stays in the kidneys, it can either cause kidney stones or an infection, neither of which we want. The bladder itself, uh, the ureters, uh, actually project through the rear wall of the bladder and empty into the bladder. The wall of the bladder itself is also made of smooth muscle fibers um, with uh, the muscle fibers kind of interwoven. The, um, when the bladder is empty, the top of it is actually flat. That's why it looks flat when we see it on a cadaver. Imagine that we sectioned it through here that's what we're looking at. It looks like more of a tube. When it fills, this top part expands up. You remember the bladder itself is also lined with transitional epithelium. The bladder is held in place by the medi medial uh, median, excuse me, umbilical ligament, which is left over from the umbilical cord. Uh, it sits under the peritoneum. So here's the peritoneum. And just like the stomach, it's got lots of folds or rugi in the wall so that that helps it expand. Oh, sorry, the openings for the ureters are down here. I kind of made them appear, but they're down here. And then we do have this triangle of uh, smoother tissue that helps to funnel the urine out into the urethra. That's called the tri trigony. The muscularis layer of the urinary bladder is uh, three layers wound together. So you remember the stomach had three layers, but they were separate. Here, they're wound together into what we call a detrusor muscle. And that detrusor muscle is going to enable the bladder to contract uh, very efficiently toward the urethra. This is much like the wall, the myometrium of the uterus, okay? Same kind of organization of muscle. This one, of course, has transitional epithelium in the mucosa. And then there is an internal urethral sphincter at the bottom of the bladder. There is an external urethral sphincter in the uh, muscular wall that, or the the layer of muscle that makes up the pelvic floor. Now the urethra carries the urine from the bladder out of the body. It is very short in females. And unfortunately, the opening of the urethra is very close to both the vagina and the anus. And that's one of the reasons that urinary tract infections are more common in females because it is easier for bacteria to get up into the urethra 
and cause an infection, either in the urethra, the bladder, or the ureters. Uh, in the male, of course, the opening of the urethra is at the tip of the penis, far away from the anus. So um, urinary tract infections are less common in the human male. All right, so that's the end of this section. We're going to come back and talk about pathologies very quickly.